Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. My name is Fitz. Welcome to the Minister's Corner. In this video, we're going to take a look at layouts in the Logos Bible Software application. In the previous video on Logos, we took a look at the desktop application. Today, I have my iPad, have the iOS, and we are ready to go. So let's jump into layouts. All right, so here we are with the Logos Bible Software app loaded on my iPad here. And I am on the home screen or the dashboard screen. Now, when you launch this, sometimes it goes to your default Bible translation. So sometimes it'll show this when you first launch it. So all you have to do is if you tap the uh, upper, upper bar section here, it'll bring up the menu down at the bottom. So you see the home icon. If you tap on the home icon, it'll bring you here. And I want to start here because in the desktop application, we, we looked at some of the quick start layouts. Well, the mobile app also has quick start layouts. So there are three here on my screen. I've got the ESV or the English Standard Version uh, translation of the Bible here. I've got the Bible and Study Bible quick start layout. And there is a Bible and Commentary quick start layout. So these are some that you can just go ahead and start using. And of course, just like on the desktop app, you can customize these. But let's just take a look. So the first one is just your, your translation. Whatever your preferred Bible translation is, that's all that first one is. So this is great for reading, devotional, just want to spend some time in the Word. Uh, you can do that. And so, of course, from here, you can do whatever you want. You can change your uh, resource. Maybe you want to read the NLT or some other translation, you can do that, change your settings, and just read through it. So that is that particular layout, very simple. So I'm gonna go back to the home, and if I go to the Bible and study Bible, this one is different because it's going to load both of these two resources in the same tab. So you have the ESV on the top, you have the Faith Life Study Bible at the bottom. Now, the first thing I want you to take a look at is the A with the link symbol. That means these resources in this particular layout are linked to each other. We talked about links in a previous video. That means that these resources scroll simultaneously. They stay in sync with where you are in the passage. So I'm in 1 Chronicles 7.13. And you look down in the Faith Life Study Bible, it is as well. And as I scroll or read through the passage, so does the Study Bible also scrolls. And of course, everything here is changeable. You can modify. We're going to look at that here in a second. And so, but this is how this kind of looks sort of out of the box. So now let's go back to the home screen. So that's really it for quick start. Nothing complicated or complex about that. You just select these. The commentary looks the same as the one with the Bible and study Bible. So I'm not going to bring that one up. So now let's move on to the next phase of customizing your layout. And let's just start with the ESV layout translation here. And we're going to load this and bring it full screen. So now let's say I want to customize this layout. And the first thing I want to do is I want to add a panel that has the ESV study Bible next to it. Now, there's two ways to do that. First, if I tap on the little one icon, because that's how many tabs I have open. That's what that one means. If I tap on that in the lower right corner, you see this little split window icon. If I tap on that, it brings up another window. And here I can add for example, the ESV study Bible. And I tap the window here to bring it full screen. So that's one way to do it. So I am going to hit the tab button again. I'm going to close the ESV study Bible, just hit the little X there. And that's going to close that. Now tap on that. And now it brings it back full screen. Here's the other way to do it. There's a window icon at the lower right. If I tap on that, it brings up all of these different types of window views. So I prefer to have my resources side by side versus top and bottom. So if I select that one, 
And again, same thing. I can hit plus and I can go and I can add the ESV study Bible. Now, remember, whatever resources you have is, is all based on what package you have with the Logos Bible software uh, in terms of your licensing um, that, that determines what sources, sources you have available to you. So that is now open. So now I have it side by side. Now, you'll notice that these resources are not linked. So I can do that very easily. As a matter of fact, I can do it once and it'll link them both. I don't have to independently link them or set them to a link set. We talked about link sets in the desktop uh, tutorial earlier. So if I just go to one of them, doesn't matter which one, tap on the ellipsis, see where it says link set. I will set it to whatever letter I want. I'm going to set it to A in this instance. And if you notice, you have fewer link sets than the desktop. The desktop link has twice as many as these. Now, if I want to link the ESV study Bible also, I can just tap on set all panels to match. And when I do that, it automatically links the ESV study Bible. So now they are both linked together. And so as I scroll, then the other side scrolls or changes or updates as well, depending on what translation or what verse, verse of script you have. And it's based on you know, what that study Bible has. So, but they are now linked together. Now, some of you may recall that during my Essential Jesus Daily Devotional, and I highly encourage you all to check that out if you haven't seen it, it was 100 days of live streaming about Jesus. But you notice how I would swipe between Bible passages. So let me show you how I did that. So this is all part of our customizing this layout. If I tap on the tabs, there's a plus sign on either side. So I can add additional tabs. So if I hit plus here and then hit plus here, and I'm going to add the ESV, bring that full screen, and I'm going to select a different passage of scripture here, just randomly picking something. Because you notice what I did was during those live streams that I was just swipe between. That's how I did that. That's how I set that up. I just added another tab so I can go and add I can add one on this side here as well, or however you want to do it. So let's add, I can add another translation. So, hey, let's do the living translation. Let's open it up. And then I would set it to whatever, you know, passage of scripture that I was going to study on that particular live stream. I set all that up in advance and I did it so that I would be ready to go. It would save time and I would be manually having to switch between Bible verses. So I configured all of those passages in advance. And then that way, when I started my live stream and I went to the iPad, all I did was just swipe between them this way. Now, notice something. Whenever you add other resources, they're not linked. So you notice that my ESV here in 2 Thessalonians is not linked. I linked these two in the middle, and but I didn't link this one either. So again, very simple to do. I can just go here, A, and set all panels to match. So these are already on A, but it also set this one to A as well. So now all of these are linked. Now, I didn't link them during the essential Jesus because I was pulling up different passages. So if you want to have different passages in each tab, do not link them. So that's how I did that. Now, let's say you have your tabs all set up the way you want them. So just for a little bit more complexity, let's just add something with three windows. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to pay hey, Faith Life Study Bible for that one. And I'm going to add uh, Expository Bible Commentary right here. So just to add it a little, make a little difference. So I've got this window. I'm going to leave these two unlinked. I'm going to leave these two linked as they are and this as well. So I've got my layout set up the way I want them. So now let me show you how you can save this. Now, just like in the desktop app, Logos does save a snapshot. So whenever you open up tabs, Logos saves them. So if I click on the tabs icon here and over on layouts in the lower right corner, if I tap on that and if I click on recently closed, this is a list of all of your recently closed tabs. 
And you certainly can use this to go back to a tab. Maybe you close it out. You say, you know what? I really like that layout. I want to go back to it. You can find it here. Now, I've done this a lot, so I should have more than this. But if you close the Logos app, it clears out these recently closed tabs. So as long as you leave the app open, they'll be here. So instead, if you have a layout that you like, save it. Let me show you how to do that. So let's go back. And I'm going to hit the little plus sign in the upper right here. And then I'm going to give this new layout a name, right? So save your open tabs as a layout. So everything I have open right now, I can save all of that. So I want to tap here and the keyboard. So let's call it, uh, let's call it test layout. And I'm going to click save. So now I have my test layout. When you create a custom layout, it also saves to that dashboard. So if I click done here, done here, and I'm going to go back to the home right here at the bottom, see where it says test layout. That's the one I just created. And just like on the desktop app, I can tap and hold. And I can move this to anywhere I want to under the dashboard, or if I don't want it here, I can always hit on the ellipses, I can't remove the card. But this is a great place, this is a shortcut, and all I have to do is tap on this, and this will bring up my layout that I just saved. Now let's say I wanna make a change. Let's say that uh, I'm gonna change this to two panels, so that means the last one is gone. If I close this out, the layout isn't saved. It doesn't save it by default. Now you can go back to the recently closed tabs and come back to this layout. But again, let's say, hey, you want to save this because you want to be sure. Then all we have to do is click on the panels tab here and go back to layouts. And so where it says test layout, if you swipe to the left, select update, update layout, now that layout has been updated with your changes. And as you can see, you can rename or you can delete a layout. Now I swipe back to the right and then it comes back here. So that's one way to get your layouts uh, customized. So again, you have a couple options. You can start from scratch. You can start from a, uh, a quick start layout and just customize it. Also, if you want to, let's say I want to close everything out. So I'm going to tap here on the panels. If you swipe up, everything closes. So now all my panels are all closed. So if I hit layouts, and I'm just going to hit the plus sign here, and I'm going to create another layout. I'm going to call this fits. I'm going to hit save. So obviously, it's blank. So I'm gonna select it. Now Fitz's layout is open, but there's nothing added here. So now, same thing. I just come in here, I just start adding resources and then uh, customize it any way I want. So maybe I come here, I'm gonna add another resource. Let's see what else we got here. Hey, the good old trusted King James. And so also I've got my little split screen here so I can add a study Bible or a commentary. So this just add something here. So. Also, I would like to have everything linked. So I'm gonna hit tab here. Let's think A, set all panels to match. So now everything should match. Tap here, make sure, yep, A here, A here. So again, now I have to go and update that layout. So here, I'm gonna go to Fitz's layout, swipe to the right, select update and update. And so now we are good to go. So anyway, um, take a look around and play around with this. So that is layouts in the Logos Bible software mobile application. So I hope that was helpful. In the next video, a lot of you asked about how I do highlights, how I highlight text. 
Well, that'll be in the next video. I will do the desktop app as well as the mobile app, and I'll tell you sort of my tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you want to, hey, check out some other content on the Minister's Corner. Well, this is Fitz, God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.